What's up, Reject Nation? I'm Greg Alba. I'm John Humphrey. We are going to watch Black Panther Born for Greatness mm. MCU character tribute video. This comes from Chris Melu. My good buddy of a Patreon top reward to your video request. This is from his channel. He's been doing these a little more frequently now. We saw one of his for Captain America, which was great. Surprised he's able to put these up and not get blocked considering he's using real artists. Oh. Papa Roach, Born for Greatness is the song here. And this video ain't monetized. We're watching it anyway for you, buddy. Mm -hmm. Let's check it out. Yeah. I think I only heard Last Resort. Oh man, there's a, there's a whole world wait, awaiting you. <laughs> Angsty. Hearing them in this context. He's running. Black Panther stares a lot. Yeah, he does. Interesting ending note. Yeah, Interesting little, ending note. Little coda. That's actually part of the song. So, I, I, what I got from this was Imagine Dragons has taken a book or two out of the 
Papa Roach, huh? <laughs> or depending on which album this is from, maybe Papa Roach took a few cues from Imagine Dragons. I'm not sure which. But I have never heard Papa Roach with like trap hi hats and pop production and uh, you know, mm. yeah. It's a little, I mean, they've always had the rapping in there. It was interesting. You ended on him on his his losing fight when uh, he gets thrown over the the waterfall from Killmonger. The mm-hmm. fight he lost is. It's the final moment from the song, other than when you cut to where he's in the, the plane mm-hmm. at the beginning of Black Panther. But still, that was really well edited, man. Yeah. You know how to edit a lot of the action moments, a lot of the falls, the hits, to uh, the beats. I'm always on the lookout for that mm-hmm. when I watch any tribute video. Are they really editing their cuts or uh, specific actions to the music? And you definitely nailed that. Yeah. This seems like an odd song to use for Black Panther. Like when I would hear this song, like the Black Panther imagery wouldn't come to mind. So at first it was a little weird, but as it progressed, I got a lot better. Well, yeah, um, and especially because you, you honed in a lot on the action and a lot of the physicality and stuff like that because there is so much of that and it is yeah. a song that goes kind of well in that f- sleek, futuristic, but also hard-hitting impact yes. kind of vibe, you know? He always pays attention to the lyrics, I noticed. Yeah. Like, he's always trying to match whatever they're talking about in the actual song. Whether uh, the, it's like a the, physical thing like running or falling. Oh yeah, when he says running, stop running, like literally he <laughs> uses the clip from Civil War where he's mm. talking about running and then yeah. stop running is when he's not running. Yeah, <laughs> yeah. He's the back of the car and all that. So literal, Chris. Literal, but there's also it's like thematic cool. stuff. Nope, yeah. only literal. No, not at all. He's trying to find the most literal interpretations and I didn't realize how much of a body language performance T'Challa's character really is the whole time. <laughs> oh like, yeah, I mean, There's so much staring this guy does. Yes, yeah, yeah, yeah. He gets roughed up, he stares, he has to kind of process a lot of hard information and then think of what's best for way too many people. You know, He's it's observing like, a lot. Yeah, whereas I feel like, you know, Killmonger gets a lot of the big dialogue, you know? I gotta say, man, like this video looks like it's doing really well. You have uh, 2,820 views. I know you don't purchase views, so that's great. And you're partnered with Papa Roach on the ad revenue. And you Perfect. got a pretty good amount of comments. I-, I know that when you did the Captain America one, we guided people to your channel. That one got more views but we're looking at the view count before uh, we've uploaded our reaction to this. So this is great. I'm really happy for you, man. Like I know he works really hard on his channel. He's been going through some tough stuff lately. I mean, how can it be so rough when he's a photographer? Go check out his Instagram, Mayu Photography, where he's photographing hot girls all the time. (laughs) This guy acts like life is rough. That's the secret to happiness. Photographing hot chicks. You've got nothing to worry about. What are you just bitching work about? More on your photography. I mean, I know you've told me some of the real life issues that you've been having. Real life is overrated. Real man. life is overrated. Hot chicks. That's where it's at. He says he doesn't flirt or sleep with any of them, and I say mistake. <laughs> what are you trying to be a professional or something? Jeez. Bad call, man. You what? gotta break those boundaries. And what now's nerd. the time. Now's the time. Nerd. Yeah. <laughs> While there's still no rules and it's the Wild West. <laughs> we mean all of these things. <laughs> but dude, like this song, you are born for greatness. Mm-hmm. Um, mm-hmm. Okay. And so was T'Challa. You know what we need? We need a Spider Man one. I want, what I liked about the ambitious task of this is it seems like he probably hears the song and it makes him flash to these images. Mm-hmm. I, I want to see another one where you hear what the song is and you go, there's no way that could work. Mm-hmm. Then he makes it work. Be like the squirrel girl. Be like the squirrel. It'd be cool if you did one for uh, Spider-Man from the MCU. Okay, so the bad touch and then Spider-Man. <laughs> yes. Compilation <laughs> video. Great. Really hone in on the high school element, you know, and the lighthearted humor of everything. What the you, sexual tension. What you can do is go watch Spider-Man Far From Home. Mm-hmm. Uh, bring a camera, record the screen. Yeah. That way you could rip images and moments from there and put it in there. Mm-hmm. And then hopefully by using a popular artist song, in this case, Bloodhound Gang. Yeah, totally. Very popular. With um, you know illegal footage, mm-hmm. hopefully you don't get 
your channel taken down and you don't get strikes, they go, this video is so experimental, it just <laughs> seems like it wouldn't work, that both Bloodhound Gang <laughs> and Sony and Marvel are going to go, we love it, we're going to use it on our social media now to promote ticket sales for sure. <laughs> it's, it's a perfect plan, because even if the movie studios aren't excited about it, you know, Bloodhound Gang, they're going to want to make this money with you, and you can argue fair use because you've changed the visual with how crappy your cell phone footage is going to be, and you're not going to use the sound. So technically, that's not even piracy. Get on it, man. Look, we've been doing this YouTube thing and doing reactions for several years now. We know exactly what exactly. makes everything okay to do on YouTube. We, we know the rules of YouTube. So follow, so follow our guideline. On a serious note, he has a uh, <laughs> he has a playlist called Nostalgia, which is so different from this stuff, but I guess it kind of works all fandom related in some way, where he basically goes over uh, a video game that you know is near and dear to his heart, and he does a breakdown review analysis deconstruction of it. Yeah, that usually is, stuff that's been like re-released. Yeah, and it's great, and fantastic. Like this guy's an editor; he puts a lot of editing into all his work, and he scripts those out, and they're wonderfully scripted. So mm -hmm. go check out his channel today. Subscribe, yeah, yeah, you know all the shit people say at the end of their YouTube videos. Like Bye. that like button.